Now at six, the trial against a Broward County man accused of killing his wife and claiming she disappeared continued today. Jurors actually heard more of Sid Torres in his own words today. CBS 4's Joe Murray is at the courthouse in Broward County with the very latest for us. Joan. Yeah, and Elliot, just a short time ago, prosecutors played an audio tape, an interrogation that Miramar police did with Sid Torres five years ago. Uh, in that tape, he maintains he did not kill his wife, although toward the end he does break down and starts to cry. But again, he has said all along he is innocent of these charges. Now, this followed a full day of testimony, prosecutors building their case that Torres did murder Valette Torres in a violent rage. As his murder trial enters week two, the jury is hearing details on how Sid Torres's relationship with his estranged wife, Valette, was unraveling before she vanished. He thinks that she's cheating on him, um, that there's another guy. A business associate testified Torres told him he secretly installed spyware on Valette's phone so he could track her every move. He showed me um, a computer screen and told me how he knew that this was going on. Valette had started seeing co-worker Zoe Rodriguez, and according to a spyware employee, the software would have allowed Sid Torres to listen in on their relationship. Mobistealth was on her phone. Her phone was in her close proximity. And the defendant enabled his Mobis Stealth account, would he be able to hear her having intimate relations? Objection, speculation. Ooh. Yes. Prosecutors say when Valette returned home early morning, March 31st, 2012, Sid Torres confronted her and killed her, then hid her body in his car and buried it near the Everglades and her boyfriend's home. She would come from the front door. Canine handler Greg Strickland said a cadaver dog identified human remains in Sid Torres's Jaguar. As she came to the trunk that was ajar, she really showed a change of behavior and actually took her nose and, and slipped the trunk open. And what happened next? Um, she, I believe at that point she jumped in the trunk. Now, Valette Torres's body has never been found. A DNA expert also testified that Valette Torres's blood was found on a towel in one of the bathrooms. The trial will continue tomorrow morning. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.